Go, go back to the hands first and then we we'll, okay. yeah, go from there. Okay, um, well, Active Hands started um, just out of need for my own um, frustration from when I couldn't um, use stuff in the gym. So um, I had my injury over 20 years ago um, and I wanted to be able to train in the gym and use the gym equipment. Like I was quite a, um, an active gym user before my injury and played a lot of sport. Uh, and then when I was in hospital, I was just found it so frustrating that I couldn't use, I couldn't grip all the gym equipment, so I couldn't therefore, you know, work, train my upper body and um, try and get back to the, some sort of fitness that I wanted to, for pushing my chair around yeah. and for day-to-day -day use. So um, it initially just started once I'd left hospital. Um, I spoke to my mum and we tried to work out a way that we could manufacture some sort of gripping thing uh, and the, the first initial prototype was literally a ski glove with um, long pieces of Velcro stuck to each finger and then bits yeah. of Velcro randomly put around the hand so you could sort of get each finger and push it down onto the Velcro. But um, it was alright for picking up very small things, but it was pretty rubbish and the Velcro <laughs> got stuck everywhere and you couldn't lift anything heavy. Um, and over time we just developed, you know, through a few different products until we came up with a sort of general purpose gripping aid, which is very similar to what we still sell today. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a really great product that you do. Um, like for me personally, having like, I wouldn't be able to do half what I'm doing with the gym or with adaptive form without the gripping aid. Yeah. So for me, it's like a big, huge difference in my life. And I know it is to a lot of other people mm. as well. So yeah, what you're doing there is like really, really awesome. I mean, yeah, and that's a nice feeling as well because we do, um, we do get loads of lovely messages back from our customers, you know, saying, um, how much it's changed their lives, how much it's improved their lives. And uh, it started off very much within a spine injury realm, you know, because that's my knowledge base. Um, but now, you know, we had a lovely message uh, about a year or so ago from a guy in America who used to uh, do, he was like a high level BMX racer. Uh, and he had some sort of injury which affected his um, grip on one hand. Uh, and for 30 years, he didn't BMX race. Hmm. And then he met up with a friend who was doing like the veteran scene of sort of BMX racing. Yeah. Uh, and he said, you know, why have you stopped? You must be able to find some sort of adaption which will help you grip. And he went searching around the internet and found us, um, bought one of our products for general purpose. And now he's racing and back and winning kind of veteran level BMX oh, nice. stuff again. That's so and, good, yeah. You know, it's nice it went, when you see how much it's changed his life and how much it's given him back. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was like, you know, flowing with compliments and stuff about how they are. It's lovely to get those messages and to know that stuff that we're making is making a real difference to people's lives, you know. Yeah, all, it definitely does. Like I have a lot of contacts obviously through what I'm doing with Instagram and that and I've, you know, travelled a bit and I've seen your products where wherever mm -hmm. I go when I meet yeah. quads and that and if somebody hasn't then they're like I'm direct, straight to you. So yeah, it's like go and have a go and have a look, it's a site that yeah. make a huge difference. Um yeah, like say so it's it's quite a a simple idea but it makes a huge difference which is like where some of the best things come mm. from a simple idea and a passion and then it yeah blossoms into something that actually makes a big difference in yeah the world. and it is it is a very simple product you know when we sort of describe it to people without seeing it sometimes they think it's some sort of big mechanical thing and yeah you know electronics to make it work and all the rest of it but you know it's just such a simple way that we've made it work yeah but there's little bits about it like the way that the hands curved there's no seams on the inside and we sort of sew the all the loops and buckles very tightly so that when you're trying to thread one through the other when your hands don't work they all stay stiff so they're not wobbling about everywhere and little touches like that you know being able to pull it with a ring rather than needing a finger pinch yeah. it to pull it tight um it does make all the difference between you know being a, a product you're happy to use every day in the gym and one that you just think that's oh, just a bit too much hassle i won't bother yeah that's why probably the like the best bit about it is that it's so well designed like they say it's a simple product but mm. there's so many little things in there that makes it yeah like really easy to use um like they always say like good design is when you don't notice the design and yeah. that's exactly what yeah. the product like you don't notice all these little things it just yeah, works it's, nice. it's just like that's yeah. what's so great about it and mm. yeah it's really cool like and obviously from the gripping age you moved on and did some other products as well now and yeah uh, so it started with the general purpose one um and then over time, we developed new products just mostly from my own um, use of them in the gym. You know, we've developed products so that if you uh, 
want to use two hands, you know, particularly for, for quads, um, if you want to use two hands for doing some sort of pulling exercise, once you've got a general purpose attached, you can't then attach the second hand. So that's where like the loop aids come from and the D-rings and then more recently the new hook aids as well. Um, and then there's other little sort of additional products that go along. And then the most recent one, I suppose, is the small items aid, yeah. which is for holding sort of pens and pencils. And um, that was actually in response to a couple of people. One a guy saying he wanted to hold um, drumsticks Okay. Uh, and then someone else saying that they wanted to hold makeup items so that they could do their own personal care. Okay. Yeah, know, yeah. That, that sort of ability to do those small, really personal things that maybe you'd have to use a PA to do otherwise. Um, yeah. But, you know, something like putting your makeup on or shaving or cleaning your teeth or, you know, those little things just gives you your independence back um, and it's quite a valuable thing to be able to do. I think it affects people more than maybe some people outside of what we go through understand just to be able to do those little jobs yourself you know put makeup on for example yeah yeah of um, course yeah. yeah yeah like it's nice to see it like expand out of like obviously the gripping aids they do help as a general one and then the other mm. one's sort of more gym specific but having another one that's a little bit more broad because yeah again not everybody's into the gym and not everybody's yeah. into that and yeah. having something that you can help those people with that's really cool like when i saw it i was like oh that's great like um I learned how to do because I like doing some art on that, and I sort yeah. of learned how to do it with my fingers. But yeah. something like that would be, yeah, like help, like would have helped me in the beginning if I wasn't learning that and doing yeah. that sort of thing. And I think also as Active Hands has in, has grown, you know, like okay, so we, we we started off very much catering for a spinal cord injury market um, mm. for quads, but um, as that has, you know, if we, we've advertised more and people have learnt more about us then we've realised that a lot of our customers now are people who've had stroke, um, people with sort of nerve injuries and brain injuries and CP and MS and there's a whole vast range of people who have hand functions are affected, even lots of small strange disabilities that we've never heard of before, yeah. um, even that we keep finding out about. Um, so it's not just for quads, so that, you know, some of these other products are more relevant to some of our other markets really. Um, even though you know they very much can be used by quads as well yeah that's good and um you were saying earlier like how it's like the business has grown which is something else i just want to talk about like you know i said at the beginning you you've got a whole list of things you've done you're an inventor you're a business owner entrepreneur but you know you're also an athlete and a dad and all that while being a quadriplegic which is amazing so i want to talk about more like you know how it was being like a business but setting up as a disabled person is not always this you know you've got all these other things going on in your life being mm. a quadriplegic and then you decided I'm going to start a business that's a great yeah. idea sort of thing and it's just like uh, that's for me personally as someone who's trying to do that themselves it's like really fascinating to see and to learn from and that so yeah like how was you know what was that like set, you know coming across businesses and that um, I think I've always been the sort of person who likes to run my own business I mean uh, before my injury when I was 11 12 years old I used to run a little craft business and I used to make cards and things and um, jewellery and sell them to craft like um, shops around near me and do little craft sales and things. And I've always been quite entrepreneurial. Um, and I think it, it sits much nicer with me to be able to be responsible for everything I do. So, you know, I don't have to answer to a boss. I don't kind of, uh, I don't know, I just get I get a kick out of, being able to set something up from scratch and see where it can go to. Yeah. I'm quite a, a long-term person, you know, I don't flip between things quickly. So um, setting up a business comes quite naturally. Um, it's difficult with a person, you know, when you've got a, another condition as well, like having a disability. Um, and we were, we were talking a bit last night, weren't we, about how benefits can be a bit of a, a faff when you're trying to set up a business and yeah. how you are and you there's low regulations about what you can and can't earn and to be honest some of that stuff is more of a hassle than actually setting up the business yes. and getting going and, and all the rest of it um but yeah like i've always enjoyed yeah always been in that to, mindset and yeah wanting to like yeah like be on do your own path rather than yeah just, so um before active hands i had a, another business where I was running club nights and an events business and um, 
that was really good fun. I ran that for uh, about five or six or seven years, and I was running club nights all over my local area in, in Leamington and Coventry, Birmingham, London. Um, and it was still fairly small, but it was quite good fun, and we ended up doing a couple of really big events. Um, and then that was before the financial crisis hit, and then people weren't really spending money on, yeah. on events and, and uh, entertainment. Um, but it's always been nice to just be able to do things on my terms. Yeah. Uh, um, and I might not always get it right, but they're my mistakes and I learn from those mistakes. Yeah. So um, I quite like things that way. Yeah, that's good. Um, so with the, when you talk about the event stuff as well, I was quite interested, like how that works, like getting around in your wheelchair. Cause obviously you might go to a field and like you yeah. to do an event and it's just like, well, yeah. I'm not getting around this field very easily today. Like, what was that like? Did you have um, to plan around that sort of thing? It's quite hard work. I mean, I, um, I am incomplete, so I can take a f- like very short distances. I can use crutches, um, mm. and I, I don't really, I can't do it so much anymore. But when you know, in my earlier days, it was a bit easier to to walk, you know, a hundred meters on crutches. But now it's it's not something I can I can do so much. But um, it it was a real hard effort in a lot of places because you know a lot of clubs, for example, were inaccessible or yeah. not easily accessible. Uh, and then you've got like busy dance floors in the dark and wet floors yeah. and all the rest of it. So um, it was hard work. And also it was a bit weird because I used to do flyering after events. And if someone comes up to you in a wheelchair and gives you a flyer, they're not expecting it to be for a club night. No. They're expecting it to be for some sort of like charity or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> People always gave me a bit of a weird look. Um, so there was this experiences of, you know, coming to terms with that and, you know, when you meet a client for the first time, they're sort of like, well, this guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> but, you know, should I mention that or should it, will it affect what house he's going to perform yeah. you know, as what we've hired him to do sort of thing. So that was interesting to, to overcome. Um, and it was a good fun time doing the event stuff. You know, I worked with some interesting people and had some good events that were really good fun. But um, I now really enjoy doing the doing Active Hands. It's just feels like it's contributing more to the world yeah and it's definitely. more um specific to me really you know with training as well and athletic with doing that um and the kind of power athlete and working in that field producing stuff that's going to help those people as well 